everyone, we are Team Rocket and we are from Peihua Secondary School. These are my teammates, Gigi, Justin, Santosh, Felicia, and me. Today, we are here to share with you about our Pikachu project. The four features of our Pikachu. There are four features that control Pikachu. Firstly, the arms are controlled by two different servo motors, each that work together to be able to move an arm. The motors are able to lift the arm upwards, down, left and right. Secondly, the DC motor installed at the bottom of the base is used for movement around the stage. During the performance, the robot is able to utilize the DC motors to move onto the stage with another dancer at the opposite side. The LED lights installed in the robot are connected to an Arduino, which has been programmed to amplify the lightning effect. Lastly, during the competition, the robot is programmed to follow the movements of the person standing next to it. The computer placed at the front facing the person is able to detect the movements and send it via Wi-Fi connection to another computer that sits next to Pikachu. The computer will be, will be connected to the Arduino that controls the motors and servos within Pikachu. For example, if the person raises the right hand, Pikachu will also raise its right hand. This will enable the robot to follow the person standing beside it. So, why did we choose this design? Well, we chose a broad base to withstand the weight of the main exoskeleton. We chose to use PVC pipes as they could withstand the weight of the robot and give it a strong foundation compared to using metal, which is too heavy, and plastic, which will be too light. We used thick wooden planks for the arms to hold the weight of the servo motors and an additional plank in the middle to provide more structural support so that the robot could remain stable when the costume is inflated. The robot's arms are equipped with two servo motors each, which are programmed using Arduino. The servo motors are connected to the laptop and programmed using the Python to detect movement. Wiring runs from the Arduino board located at the bottom of the robot to the server controlling the arm. With this setup, the robot is able to perform movement uh, as programmed and detect human movement which is seen by the laptop camera. In this summary, this system involves a combination of hardware components including servo drivers and Arduino boards which contain software programming. We use Python as well as Arduino as our programming language to create functioning robots with controllable arms. The exoskeleton. The exoskeleton is made up of a wood plank as the base of the robot and two PVC pipes that are screwed onto the board. As for the arm, we use two thicker wood planks and using two servo motors connected together, we are able to move the arm and keep it stable at the same time. The arms are connected to the body of Pikachu using a series of small planks using L brackets. The base. For the base, there are servo drivers, a hitch bridge, a voltage regulator, and a battery pack. The servo drivers are responsible for controlling the movement of the motors, while the hitch bridge is used to control the direction of current flow to the motors. The voltage regulator helps regulate the voltage supplied to the components, and the battery pack serves as a power source. Overall, these components work together to form a functional system for controlling and powering various instruments. These light switches are connected to the Arduino, which has been programmed to control the lighting effects attached to the body and tail to imitate Pikachu's lightning. During the competition or performance, the lights are activated to create a visual effect that enhances the overall appearance of the Pikachu costume. The lighting effects can be synchronized with music or other audio cues to create a dynamic, engaging performance. And is coded using Arduino and NeoPixel. Adjustable LED lights can be used. This code is on the computer that is near Pikachu. 
this code is able to receive the code that was sent through the internet and be able to decode it to enable it to control the servo motor that controls the arms. At the top, the set of code is able to start and allow the connection between both the Arduino and the servo. At the bottom, the code continuously looks for the input that comes in and reads it before activating the relevant servos to move accordingly. This code was our first code that we have done. This code controls the bottom motor movements. It first starts off with setting up the motor by knowing the pins. Right after, it calibrates the gyro to ensure that it's accurate. The LED code here enables us to light up Pikachu. The code that is in a loop lights up different LEDs in a light strip. The LEDs in a light strip are LRGB and are hence able to light up Pikachu. The provider code is designed to sense the movement of a person standing next to Pikachu using a camera built in the computer. The code begins by important relevant libraries to perform the image processing and network communication tasks. After importing the required libraries, the code is used lightning for a deep learning network to detect the persons and track their movements. While lightning 4 has lower accuracy than other deep learning frameworks, it is preferred for its higher performance, allowing for real-time tracking of movements. Following that, the code resizes the image that the camera captured. It then finds the position of the person's left or right arm by locating the shoulders, the shoulder, elbow, and wrist points using image processing techniques such as lightning movement. Using Pythagoras' theorem, the, calcul the code calculates the angle of a movement required for the servo motor to move the arm in the desired manner. The message containing the, move, the movement information is then sent over the internet to the other laptop sitting next to Pikachu after encoding it. This final part of the code is for debugging purposes as it is intended to display the camera feed on the screen to verify that the camera is functioning correctly and to adjust any parameters if necessary. Overall, the code allows Pikachu to follow the movements of a person standing next to it, which adds an interactive element to the robot's performance.